can't be the only one. You know, you imagine how you're going to spend that $20 million Powerball. Maybe you even make a spreadsheet of who you'll give some to. But you never actually buy the ticket. That's living a lotto dream. I want to leave my footprints on the sands of time Know there was something that, something that I left behind When I leave this world, I'll leave no regrets Leave something to remember so they won't forget I was here Welcome to the Samantha Leith Show with your hostess, with the mostess, me, Samantha Leith. I can't believe I haven't said that yet in all these episodes. That's crazy. I should have said that. Anyway, back to the show. Chances are there's something in your life that you've always wanted to do, but for some reason, you haven't. So this month, we're looking at the magic that is dream, believe, act and achieve framework. It's the framework I use for myself and my clients to take something from inside our hearts and our minds and to make it actually happen. Let's go. Dreams, we all have them, but we don't all make them happen. And sadly, some of us never even try. Our dreams are as varied as our DNA. Maybe it's about creating a program that puts clean drinking water in remote villages or developing a cure for type 1 diabetes. It could be closer to home and you want to earn enough online to be a stay-at-home dad able to be there every afternoon to hear how their day went. Or when you were little, you had a dream that one day you'd publish a book. Or like me, you wanted to be the first female admiral of the New Zealand Navy. Okay, probably not, but you get the idea. Maybe your dream will impact your family, or maybe it will impact the world. As the saying goes, it's not the size that matters. Dreams don't have to be world changing, they have to be you changing. I want to ask you, what is your dream? One that you've been holding close to your heart and never truly taken action on? Stick with me here. If you'd have had a conversation with me a couple of years ago, I would have sworn to you, however that goes, that I'd really gone for my dreams. I would have been lying. I tiptoed around my dreams, doing enough to think I'd worked on them, but not enough to actually make a difference. You see, I was scared. I was living a life I called lotto dreams. I can't be the only one. You know, you imagine how you're going to spend that $20 million Powerball. Maybe you even make a spreadsheet of who you'll give some to, but you never actually buy the ticket. That's living a lotto dream. I would imagine what my biggest vision would feel like. I could picture it. If I'm really honest, I even spent some of the money I thought I'd earn when I hadn't even made a cent. I was kidding myself, totally delusional. I didn't do the work and I wasn't consistent in anything. Was I scared of failure or was I scared of success? What do you think you fear? I used to joke that on my tombstone it would say, here lies the girl that almost. I know my decades of undiagnosed ADHD didn't help with this. However, I could always manage to do what needed to be done when it was about someone or something else. Looking back, I know some of them weren't the right dreams. That's what I want you to know. It's okay. You are where you are right now and it's freaking perfect. Every single moment has led you to watching this video now, when the world is aligned for you to hear what I have to say to you and for you to cement those dreams and to go for them. How do you know what dream is the perfect dream for you? You don't. Sorry. Remember, there's no such thing as perfect, only your idea of perfect. I can't tell you what the best dream to go for is either, but I can help you to make that decision for yourself. So let's do it. Over a few months now, we've touched on passion, vision, mission, big goals, dreams, and so much more. So we're going to link in the notes to where you can go back and do those in depth. But I'm going to cover the basics here again. Yes, this is where you can go to, I'm going to get it wrong always, samanthaleith.com forward slash freebies and grab the worksheet for the month. And there are 10 questions I want you to ask yourself. 
What is amazing about your life right now? We have to start from a place of gratitude. What would you do if you knew you could not fail? What's missing from your life right now? What are you scared of doing and of not doing? What are your top five passions? What's your vision? What's your mission? What are your current goals? What do you want your legacy to be? And what does success mean to you? There are many more questions in the detailed worksheets for you. And you can go further on those topics if you want to. And once you've done this, I want you to let go of any expectations you have and think. Think about what you're meant for. You were born. That in itself is a miracle. It's proof of possibility. Then if I were to ask you, what are the biggest, most extraordinary dreams you have for your life? What would you say? Write it down. If it's something that's pure for you, these words will pour out. You know, you know what you were put on this earth to do. When you're writing this, think big. I mean, really big. The kind of big that makes you feel a little bit sick. The kind of big that makes you scared that if someone finds these notes, they'll think you're a total fruit loop or that you've been hypnotized into doing something crazy. This can be hard at first, trust me. You don't want to get it out. I told a very new friend of mine a few dreams recently. It was the first time the words had come out of my mouth. I hadn't even shared it with my business or my personal besties. Sorry, guys. I was that scared. Who the f was I to think I could do this? This dream was so clear in my mind and I felt safe to turn it into real words. That was my first step into taking action into my dream, but we'll do more on that later. You don't have to share them, but if you can, it's brilliant. And if you want someone to hear you, but don't feel okay to share with someone in your life, send your dream to me. I promise to be your cheerleader. I should have pom-poms and believe in you. So why are we scared to share our dreams? Welcome to the world of the dream stealers. I've mentioned them before. Chances are they're people that they actually love you and they care about you. One day you shared something and they said things like, are you sure? Seems like a lot of work. Famous women are bitches and you're nice. I don't want you to be disappointed, darling, if it doesn't work. Blah, 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 blah. You get the drift. We've heard these words or something similar and they've stopped you. I genuinely don't think people mean you harm when they say these things, but it's more about them than it is about you. So forgive them for saying these words and forgive yourself for letting them sink into you and impact you the way they did. Remember that you are enough. You are worthy. You have what it takes to do what you want with your life right now. If a dream is in your heart and your brain like a voice nagging you to do the bloody dishes, go for it. You owe it to yourself. Nobody else will care about these dreams like you do. They have their own dreams and their own dramas to think about. And when you're working towards your dream, when you've got the goals nailed down and know the steps that need to be taken, it's you, it's all you doing the work, getting up early, making the calls, learning a new skill, doing the hours of practice. So make your dream count for you, not your parents' dream, not the dream of that popular person online, for you. You have to hold this dream close to you. It's a precious thing, just like you. You have to live it and feel it. So when you journal, I want you to write down your five big dreams every single day as if they've already happened. It's a done deal, people. I'll tell you a secret. Well, okay, it's not a secret anymore because I'm telling you. One of my dreams that I write down every single day is I entertain, educate and empower thousands of people around the world every single day. Now, do I do that? Hell no, but I will. That clarity of my dream is part of what has me turning up here every month doing the show. I want that clarity for you. I know you have that dream in you and I believe that you have what it takes to achieve it. So come back here next week. We're going to look at what you need to do to believe that you can do it.
Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of The Samantha Lee Show. I totally believe you have what it takes to be extraordinary. And this framework is one of the tools that can help you get there and, well, to believe in yourself. If you want to dive deeper into the world of personal development and what's possible for you, then you need to join the club. It's my monthly membership designed to guide and support you with the tools and the coaching you need to be extraordinary. Head on over to samanthaleith.com forward slash the club. I'd love to see you on the inside.